Hey guys, Dwayne here, and I wanted to um, put up a video. Uh, I haven't posted a video since uh, Grecian Thunder's response, and uh, um, thanks everybody who checked that out. And uh, I know it was kind of weird, but it was it was supposed to be. So uh, thanks for the comments on that. Um, but uh, I just wanted to shoot a video to get something up, and uh, I'm not going to do a vinyl update. I do have some vinyl pieces that uh, have come into the collection, but I might save those for later. So what I wanted to do was, first off, um, there's going to be two parts to this video. The first part is I'm going to talk about some Blake sleeve news, and then the second part is I want to talk about some Neo Prague. Um, I've been listening to a lot of neo prog lately. Genre that I, I I visit very frequently throughout the year, and, and I kind of get into the mode with it, and, and I just I delve in and I absorb it for for quite a while, um, and then I'll bounce back to metal or whatever you know. I, I bounce all over the place, but um, anyway, on the Blake sleeve news. Um, so <clears throat> what this is is basically. I had taken a um, example of the Blake sleeve down to my local record store in Santa Rosa here, and uh, was showing the guys, you know, because um, I used to buy my record sleeves there, and uh, you know, I took it in and, and showed them and said, "Yeah, this is what I'm using now," you know, and I explained to them these were designed, you know, by uh, uh, a vinyl community member. And they know that I'm in the vinyl community and all that. I talk about it all the time. <clears throat> and I explained to them that these were designed, you know, within the vinyl community, uh, pretty much for the vinyl community. So, you know, I explained the whole, you know, designed by record collectors for record collectors type of thing. And so they checked out the sleeve and they just absolutely loved it. And they said, get me 2000. And so um, they just told me that, you know, they, I said, well, you can go online, and they're like, nah, just get them. <clears throat> so I took care of the order, and uh, I didn't charge them any extra, or I didn't make a profit on it or anything like that. Um, so I ordered them 2,000 Blake sleeves. Here's the cool part. They came in in two days. Within two days, I had 2,000 Blake sleeves for the record store. So took them down and uh, uh, last night and dropped them off. So my local record store now carries Blake sleeves. And so I just thought that was cool as hell. And uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys. So here's a little quick, you know, I was going to shoot a long video, but the guy was by himself there and there were people in the store. So uh, I didn't shoot a long video, but I did shoot a little 10 second video of just him opening the box and, and whatnot. So anyway, here you go. So here we are, last record store. The Blake sleeves are here. So they are officially carried now at my local record store, the last record store in Santa Rosa, the best record store in the area. 2,000 Blake sleeves. <coughs> so uh, there you go, my record store now carries the Blake sleeves. Um, so I thought that was cool. So anyway, all right. So I want to talk a little bit, a uh, little bit about a few bands that I think everyone should know about. Um, they're neo progressive bands, uh, very much in the vein of Marillion, Genesis. Yes, okay. You know everybody knows. You know when it comes to Prague, you know Genesis. Yes, you know bands like that. Um, and then uh, uh, Marillion, of course. And I wanted to talk about a few bands that may not get a whole lot of attention and that a lot of people may not even know about. So uh, these are CDs, this is not vinyl. Um, some of these bands do have vinyl, though it's very rare, and a couple of them don't have vinyl at all. But anyway, let me get started. The first band I wanna showcase is the band Iluvatar. Um, Iluvatar, uh, that name comes from uh, Token's book, uh, The Cimmerillion. So this is um, Iluvatar. This is, uh, I believe this is the first album. And really, really great band. And 
what I'm going to do is hopefully it'll work. So I'm going to say it now because I don't know yet, but I'm going to try and overlay some uh, sound samples uh, as I show these so that you guys can hear what the band sounds like. Uh, this is um, a story two days wide by Louvatar. This is a killer CD. Um, so there's that one. And then this is Sideshow by Louvatar. So really, really great band. Um, this is my favorite. This is Children. This is probably my favorite disc. So if, if you guys don't know this band, um, definitely check them out. Uh, they're just such an incredible band. Um, This next one, this next band is very, um, very Genesis-like, very Marillion-ish. Um, and you can look them up, you can look all these guys up on, on YouTube as well, but uh, this next band I want to talk about, this band does have vinyl, um, but it's, it's vinyl you don't see very often, so. But this is, uh, this first one is The Window of Life by Pendragon. And Pendragon, you know, even look at the art, I mean, that is so... Marillion, so uh, Anthony Phillips, uh, you know, it might even be the same artist, I'm not sure, but uh, The Window of Life, this is one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite discs for sure by this band. So Pendragon, and they have quite a catalog. Um, this is uh, just a masterpiece. Um, this is Pendragon, The Masquerade Overture. This is a, a two disc set. Um, this might be my favorite, actually. Probably my favorite Pendragon album. Um, this is uh, Pendragon, the best of Pendragon. It's actually slash the rest of Pendragon. So, really good stuff here as well. Red Shoes, classic Pendragon. Um, Koto by Pendragon. And, you know, even on uh, CD, you know, these are CDs that you just don't see very often um, as well. Um, Utrecht, The Final Frontier by Pendragon. Um, so that's the Pendragon. Uh, <clears throat> this band, this is a pretty darn hard CD to find. Um, I believe this was released on vinyl. Uh, very, very tough to find. Uh, but this band uh, is almost um, definitely prog, but maybe a little harder edge prog, maybe a little more kind of dream theater-ish. Um, but this is uh, uh, Palas. The Sentinel, and this is a, a a pretty tough CD to find, and uh, just a, a killer killer album. And this is the only one that I have by this band, but. I would say the stuff that I'm showing, you know, I'll give a shout out to, you know, it's some VC members that I know would totally dig these bands. Uh, one that comes to mind is uh, Gil King's drummer. Um, I know you would dig these guys. 
uh, all of these bands. Um, probably Derek Vaughn. Um, shoot, who else? Uh, pretty much any any prog fan and any neo prog fan. You guys would totally like this stuff. Uh, this next one. This is uh, Arena. Uh, Songs from the Lion's uh, Cage. And this is another just incredible, incredible band. Arena. And then this next band, this is the last one I'm going to show. Just such a killer band, and um, I love this label. Uh, but this is, I believe it's pronounced Jadis. And this is more than meets the eye. J-A-D-I-S. I believe it's pronounced Jadis. So uh, don't quote me on it, but that's how I have the label. Giant Electric P. So just a cool label. Love the art. Just love the art. So, Jadis. And this is uh, Somersault by Jadis. Once again, I just I love the art. Just very, uh, very cool stuff. A picture of, uh, of the band. Yeah, um, I just wanted to, you know, I'm, as I've been in my uh, prog phase uh, this past week <clears throat> and going through a lot of this stuff and, and, you know, listening to it again, I thought, you know, let me let me introduce the VC to some of these bands. You know, a lot of you may know them um, and a lot of you may not. So uh, just wanted to uh, spread the word about these guys. So anyway, uh, I have a big cool hopefully everything works out i have a cool plan this weekend um got something planned and hopefully it all works out so there'll probably be some video of that um and then like i said i do have some some vinyl to show as well but i'll save that for the next one so anyway just wanted to say hey hope everybody's doing well uh i've got a lot of videos to catch up on um my video time has not been the greatest lately so Anyway, as always, peace and stay in the groove, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.